from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina, where they love to say, keep pounding, ever since the Tommy DeFist incident back in 13. We all remember where we were that day. I still remember the beautiful screams. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are attuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the NFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on the game? Um, I did one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hey! I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shock like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot. Talk for the first down. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! 
second down and ten. Boom! Third down and three. a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Wesley Dunn! And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot. They weren't even on the same page on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, uh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. It's first and ten. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Ghost well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this.
They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Third down and eight. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly. And that's just like the Fourth of July, only with blood and guts. First and ten. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down in inches. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down and a pussy here. When the defense calls thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. warming up the receiver runs away from the pass marker that's a good clue that something's not right this is going to be a long kick let's see if he can make it the defense goal a sticky ball trick and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble oh man he shanked that there goes my spread hmm i don't remember that being an officially sanctioned mfl rule <laughs> most kickers should be it's a jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref oh crowd's loving it Yeah. 
First down and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, man, he really wants it. And it's first and ten. And that player has one speed. He's the power. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. It's a touchdown. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. for the first down. And it's first and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. And it's first and ten. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be... It's good! <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the 
quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. Second down and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. For every he rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Second down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling death, time out. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yes, it's almost poetic, Grim! Like a haiku! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. And my second half buzz is just kicking in right on time. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Bye. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing.
And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. He had it for a second there. Third down and ten. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. If he was still talking, he'd be saying... Psycho killer Keska say, what the fu 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. <laughs> and that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall out. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. They go to a one feet dirty brick. Oh, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. But ten. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes.
rolls right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. point but this guy could blow it straight through the uprights when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight uh, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Up five on that play. <laughs> Second down and five. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. And the defense was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Perfect pass and the score. <laughs> you know, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First and two. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. for a couple of yards. And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't be known. The quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. Second down and more than the QB would like. down and well good luck and they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards man these guys have metal balls they're gonna try to pick up the first down here do they jingle when they run you've got to catch that And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, it anything really tastes good. Good to Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They're looking.
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. He dropped it. If he does that again, he'll drop him. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Third down and long. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. There's no reason. The offense takes the first time out. Do you think the universe is alive, Grim? Eh, looks like whatever you had before the game is starting to kick in, Bricks. You might want to have a little orange juice and lie down. <laughs> and the defense was caught with their pants around their ankles. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! called a time warp dirty trick negating that play completely the offense is pissed well i wish i had that trick in the elevator with me earlier i let one rip i made a really good one grim and then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders get on <laughs> that talk is really put to the test am i the only one here who has a sudden urge to eat lobster Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Second down and seven. That's a six yard gain. And with the timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. And that'll bring up third and one. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. First and eight to go. Oh, great catch, and that's a touchdown. Whoa! 
fuck? Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. Game. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. Third and four. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. Second down in a very lot. The Carolina Panzers suffer a big loss today. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.